guys so today i wanted to show you how i make my ladders you're going to need jute twine you can get this at michael's or even amazon that's where i like to get mines i know that it's not soaked in any chemicals um there's no odor to it just a natural jute um odor that is, is what it is you're going to need willow sticks i get this at um through amazon um, you just have to cut them into shape so you're just going to use um the length that you have in mind and you're just going to go around in a circle until you feel it's loose and just snap it off you can clean up the little pieces later with the same uh, wire cutter is what i'm using or you can use your scissors i sometimes use both um because the scissors will give me a nice little clean cut you could do this towards the end um, so that there's no little spikes sticking out that's fine and so the jute twine you're going to measure out the size that you are going to use for your ladder and you want to make sure that you're doubling it so if it's six inches each each string you're going to make sure that you're getting 12 inches and such so you want to make sure that it is even you're going to need i like to use a cinder block with a nail um, lodged into it so I can hold it, um, my macrame while I'm doing the macrame, um, this will, the block will hold, the nail hold my, um, my string in place. So what I'm going to do is with both strings together, I am going to just do a little knot. I'm gonna leave just a little bit undone. Then I'm gonna go and take two, the two strings and I'm gonna make a knot. You're gonna go halfway up. You're not gonna go all the way up. Um, this just so that you can lock this in because you're going to add your pieces of wood. So now I, you can tighten it and then you're going to do another knot. This is the way I do mine. This, everyone does macrame differently. I adjust it according to what I want. There's different types of macrame patterns. This is just what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do um, the little knot on both sides. Then I'm gonna take my piece of wood and I'm going to close it out now and do it as tight as I can. And then you're gonna do another knot and tie it really tight gonna do the same thing on the other side you're gonna tighten it try to um, lean towards the end so that you can have um, the piece of uh, stick in the center open so the crabs can climb up on that then that's that and then you're just going to repeat the pattern I am going to leave a few gaps in between so I just did one knot and closed it out tight. And then I'm gonna do another knot. And that one is going to be loose because this is where I'm going to put my sticks through. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna leave it a little open. Then I'm gonna grab my stick on the corner. Then I'll tighten it really tight and tighten it again. I'm gonna do the other side and the, cir um, the circle that I already did halfway. Tighten it very tight so that the pieces of wood do not come out. And this is that. Now I'm going to repeat it again. So in between each one, I'm doing two knots. So you have your tight, your tight knots. I'm gonna do another one. And then, then I'm going to do the half knot that is going to stay open. That's going to be for the piece of wood. Okay. Then I'll come and put my stick. I think you guys got the point. Um, the more practice you get, the better you are. Um, took me quite a bit. Um, I even have some bridges that I did with this um, 
without the pieces of wood. So you just play around with what works for you. Double knot, double knot. So this is that. Then I'm gonna do half knot again. Leaving it open a little. This is going to be for the stick. Then I will put it in the corner and I'm going to tighten it, okay? And then do the same thing on the other side to complete. Try to do nice and tight and then do another tight knot just like this, and then a loose knot. I'll continue and then I'll show you the um, what to do at the end. So now we come to the end. I'm just going to, after you do your tight knot, you're just gonna continue doing tight knots all the way till you are pretty much evened out on both sides, then you can cut the rest of it you can do this in different ways if you do um, more strings instead of having double you can do four um, and then attach the two together um, braid them all the way down depends on what you want to do so I did two on each side I'm just going to cut off anything else that's left over. I wanna make sure that it is tight so it doesn't come undone. And then it's done. You can do it looser, you can do it tighter. It all depends, like I said, what you like, what's all about your preference. I am going to be adding this to a different craft that I have just recently made. So this is the finished product. Um, like I said, I did do it tight. I wanted, I wanted it nice and tight because I'm going to be um, attaching it to a hide. So this is pretty much it. I hope you guys um, found this helpful.